Hi and welcome to PeaceMeg TV. In today's tutorial for WordPress, we're going to be taking a look at another feature that Slider Revolution 5 offers us, and that's the Ken Burns effect. Now, this is an effect we're going to apply to the slides in our slideshow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through, show you the settings, show you how to configure everything, and show you how to use this effect in your slides. So let's take a look at all that now. So what the Ken Burns effect does is it allows us to create zoom and pan effects alongside rotation effects. Now the important thing to note at this point is that the actual way that your image is set up, in other words, if we go to the source setting, you can see we've got the background position set to center center, and that will dictate how the effects are applied and how they will actually take effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of effects and then I'm going to change the background position and show you how that impacts upon the way the animation actually plays out. So to start off with, let's take a look at how we can zoom in and how we can zoom out of any of the images. So we set a starting position and an end position and this will dictate whether you're zooming in or whether you're zooming out. So if we say we want to start from 130% to 100%, let's take a look at how that looks now. So you can see now it slowly zooms out of the image and uh, because we've got it center center it's zooming it out from the central position. We can offset that so we could say let's put a vertical offset of say for example 800 pixels and let's take a look at that effect. So now we've offset the zoom position to 800 pixels to the right hand side. So now that becomes our central point. So as we zoom out, it looks like we pan across to the right hand side. Like I say, these figures will be dictated by the actual way you've got your image set up. So we set that back to zero and we do the vertical offset this time. So for this example, we're going to swap the scale over now to be a zoom in effect. So we're going to set this to be 130 and we're going to do is we're going to set a vertical offset of 800 pixels and now it'll look like we're zooming in to the top part of the image as opposed to zooming in to the center okay let's reset those values and what we're going to do this time is we're going to set a rotation value. So we're going to set it from 0 to, let's do 180. So that's going to rotate the image around for us. So you can see that gives quite a weird effect. We could do it the opposite way. We could set that to 0 and do 180 this way. So we give it 10 seconds to load, and then we'll find that it'll zoom up from the bottom left-hand corner. So like I say, we can deal with the easing, so we've got a whole range of options to how we start and end, and the different kinds of effects that we have on there. And we can also specify the duration of any of the effect that we're using in the Ken Burns section. So what I want to do now is I want to set these back to zero. I'm going to set this back to being 100. What we're going to do is we're going to come to the source settings and I'm going to swap this over from being center center to top left. So now our fixed point is the top left hand corner of the image, which will now affect the way that the Ken Burns effects are taking place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the scale to zoom in. So we'll do from 100% to 130. And now what you're going to find is because you've set this to be top left-hand corner, that now becomes the focal point for this effect. So you're going to find we're going to zoom in based upon this top left-hand corner as opposed to the center, center like before. So if I hit preview, you'll now see that we focus this being our pivot point, and that's exactly where we'll zoom into. So hopefully what you can see is the way that the Ken Burns effect t is actually works within your slider and how the actual background position plays an important role of exactly what you see. So you may well find that you set certain offsets 
and nothing happens. It's basically because that won't work with the particular way that you've got the background position set. So you'll need to go in and choose a different option for that. Now I'd recommend experimenting with this because it's one of those things that is a little confusing to start off with, but once you kind of get your head around exactly what you're trying to achieve, it'll make a lot more sense to you. I hope you found this video useful. I hope it's given you a basic explanation of how the Ken Burns effect works in Slider Revolution 5. I hope it's given you the confidence to start experimenting with your own sliders to see how you could implement this particular effect. If you've got any comments, questions or feedback on this or any of the other videos on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And until next time, take care.